we have for the SKS. The SKS uh, models we have accommodate both the Yugos that have the grenade launcher in the front or the ones without them such as the Norinco or the Russian. Um, the uh, first unit we developed many years ago uh, was the SKS Sporter. The Sporter was designed for well, the shooters who were going to be using this particular gun uh, not for tactical reasons but for hunting. Uh, deer, other things, uh, the 7.62x39 round does a great job of middleweight sporting game. This is designed to have the uh, butt in line with the, with the scope mount. The scope mount also acts as a carrying handle. Um, and uh, these were designed to use the factory 10 round fixed mags. And you can use the uh, mags with the appendage on them if you like. The only challenge is they're just a little bulkier, not very much of a sporting arm with that on. So that's why we suggest people just stay with the, um, the fixed mag. But that's been very popular for us. Several years ago, we had a Navy SEAL visit with us and spent some time with us to help us develop what they thought would be a good uh, next step in the development of uh, tactical weapons. They spent some time with us and they came up with a couple of things that we've been able to use on several of the different guns. This was the first one, the SKS Spike, and this is the pug version of it. Uh, and the, the main thing is the gripping of the system. It basically has uh, the standard grip feel, but the shorter grip in the front, on the front of the, of the trigger guard, is what's called the three finger hook setup. It allows you to put three fingers in place and use your thumb as an articulative for the uh, tack lights or anything else like that. Especially helpful for those situations in Afghanistan where they had real small, skinny hallways uh, where you could manipulate around. The, uh, the pug version of this is our newest version. We've added uh, a 10 inch uh, pick rail on the top. You can put on flip up iron sights, which are great for Yugos uh, simply because of the nature of the, of the round itself. Many uh, years of development, we took a lot of the ideas we learned from these products and wanted to invest them into what we would consider a, uh, a good battle rifle. The SKS AR is a great rifle as it is. The great part it has last shot hold open, which is a feature that isn't even on the AK-47, and it's very, very helpful. Um, but on the SKS AR, we developed a mag system that allows you to be able to have a state-of-the-art mag insertion and removal and storage. As you can see, there's no appendage on here. That's uh, removed, two inches of it. And it allows you to be able to insert it uh, easily, and then it uh, can be removed with your thumb. Part of the system is the mag well that is part of the SKSAR system. The reason it's called the SKSAR is the grip trunnion on this is designed to accommodate any type of AR grip. This particular one is a mag pole. Uh, the mag pole goes on here, the standard um, AR grip that came from the factory will go on here, a whole rubberized grip will go on here. We normally send these out with the AG43 Israeli, uh, which we find is a superb grip, but again, you can put any of a half dozen types of grips on your uh, system to be able to use the SKSAR. So this is interchangeable. On these two, it's not. It's, that's what it is. Now, they're great. They're ergonomic. But uh, again, we know that there are some people who prefer the feel of an AR-type grip. So this is available. You've got a 16-inch pick rail on the top. Or I'm sorry, 19-inch pick rail on the top of this. So you could use flip-up sights, any kind of optics you want. Um, on these two guns, to be able to install in our system, you had to remove the wood... Um, cover on top of the gas tube. On the SKS AR, we were able to design it so that you don't have to do that, and we're still able to get good line of sight and everything with it. 
So that's a real time saver if you're installing this. Um, pick rails on this uh, accommodate anything from a bipod to a, to a uh, grenade launcher. Uh, we also designed our V-grip to be able to slide on uh, pick rails on the bottom and so that's a good option especially for those who like to have that cradle system and it works uh, great. But of course with this you could put on a broom handle or anything you want if you had uh, front grip preferences. So the SKS AR is designed to accommodate as many preferences as you have to come up with a customized situation. We also have this design so you can install pick rails on the front of this. Uh, if it turns out to be something that you want to do, for example, a green laser or tack light or whatever. Um, so anyways, that's the general idea of what these uh, are set up like. And uh, we've been pleased with the performance of these. And uh, if you're interested, uh, they're available.